God bless you. Do you still say yes, no matter what the test? Well, praise God, we're entering into exercise 14, and we're moving on to a new place. And this time we are going to Psalms 37, verse 4, that reads, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Yes, this is where we are going. God has taken us to a new place in Scripture, and we are to learn Psalms 37, verse 4, praise God, and memorize, focus, meditate on it, and just think about that psalm, bless God, that your daddy, your God, wants you to delight in life. He wants you to delight yourself in the Lord. He never wanted you to have sad and dreariness as a way of life, but He wants you to feel full of joy. He wants you to keep going around with that smile on your face and that beam that I see on your countenance and that glory that I see all around you when I look at you, praise God. He wants you to continue to be good advertisement for the kingdom, praise God. You are good with Witness. You look like Jesus. And God said, I want you to delight. I want you to get some joy out of life. I want you to have some pleasure in this walk. I want you to have some stuff. I want you to have some resources. And the Bible said, when we're on that street, a street called delight, then God said, um, he will give us the desires of our heart. So that means that we're in a place of such enjoyment that God can download desires. Have you some things flowing in your heart that you know that God put there that you just want to do in life? They won't leave. They just stay there. They just keep talking with you. They still beckon you on. When you feel like giving up, you see that thing before you. You know your daddy has dropped that nugget. He has dropped that treasure on the inside of you. And he wants to see the manifestation of it. But but as we meditate and as we learned in Romans 12, 2, praise God, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed through the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is a good and acceptable will of the Lord. That we need a mind to be in unity with the word of God, not struggle, not find it strange, and not fight against it. That's why we learn scripture. That's why we meditate. That's why we in the word. That's why we're poking. Uh, we are um, pushing weights, praise God. Amen. Because we want our stuff. And he tells us, go in and possess the land. Well, you got to have your keys. you got to have your principles. you got to have your power. Remember when Popeye was getting beat by Blutus? What he reached for? He reached for his finish. Well, we reach for the word of God, praise God. And I'm here to challenge you to continue on. Learn these scriptures. Go to another place. And as someone said, if you keep doing the same thing, you keep doing the, getting the same results. So we want to get greater results. We want to get benefits. We want to be a blessing to someone else. We want to help someone else. How can we bless somebody if we don't have the blessings to bless them with, you know? How can we give resources if we don't have the resources? How can we give encouragement if we don't have encouragement? If we not encourage ourselves, I am encouraged today. And you go around and you declare, I am encouraged. My God is more than enough. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, which is one of the scriptures we're going to go to too. So you'll have that in your arsenal, praise God, that you can pull it out. So God bless you. I'm excited, but as always, don't forget to shine in, praise God. And I am just 
loving what God is doing. Praise God in our midst. So you be blessed. God bless you.